Okay, so uh, in simple terms, you know, uh, Shraddha, this is the second chart of my mind. What Rahu is, the Rahu is trying to build a marketplace for trucks, right? So at one end, you know, we, we work directly with the fleet owners. Basically, we aggregate uh, fleet owners. And fleet owners is our supply. When I say fleet owners, I mean uh, big trucks, intercity container trucks, right? And at the other side, the demand side is that we work with logistic companies, okay? Uh, we don't work directly with brands. We work with logistic companies which work with brands, right? So we are a very uh, thin layer. Uh, we behave like a large broker in between, trying to connect the direct fleet owner who owns the asset uh, with the logistic company which actually wants a truck. So basically bringing together demand and supply. So we've been at this for uh, close to three years now and uh, we're covering almost 10 cities in the country. So that's really what we do. Basically intercity trucking. Yeah. Right. Um, so let, let me talk about the challenges today. Uh, so if you look at this industry, um, let me give you a broad numbers, right? Um, roughly and, uh, $120 billion industry is road transportation or trucking, right? 70% of total logistics in India is happening through road, 65 to 70% give or take. So largely road and highway dependent. Okay. What we are talking about is roughly 35 to 40 lakh trucks big trucks okay uh, this number becomes very important when you look at it that these 40 lakh trucks like uh, 85 percent of these trucks are owned by people who own less than 10 trucks so there are roughly three and a half lakh truck owners or fleet owners in this country it's a long tail right and and 50 to 60 lakh truck drivers yeah okay so that is a massive economy which is dependent on the road and the, the trucking aspect uh, and it becomes uh, coming to the coronavirus, right? Now look at it. Uh, essential items which are today moving are, are anywhere between 15 to 20 percent of the total industry. You know, people literally who own three trucks and five trucks and eight trucks, they don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And you know, come come at April first week, they will have EMIs to pay. Yeah. Where are those EMIs going to come? Can you imagine 35 lakh trucks EMIs uh, getting defaulted? You know, yeah. so that, that to me is a very big piece. And look at the drivers. What's going to happen to these 60 lakh, 60 lakh drivers? Because most of these drivers, not most, 95%, 90, 95% of these drivers are not on salary mode. They are on per kilometer. That means they run. They are the uh, asset operators. Let's call it asset owner and asset operator, right? An asset operator, which is, uh, let's say, these extended family will be, what, three, four crores of people would have no money. Uh, to eat, uh, you know, soon. So that's the, that's a big problem. And I think I, I want to represent them and talk to you about it. Um, coming to coronavirus and what's happening, uh, clearly demand is gone, right? 90% of trucks have no business lying here, right? Uh, when it comes to the challenges, uh, let me let me break them into uh, large part. Let's talk about the fleet owner, right? Now the fleet owner doesn't have business so for him. Uh, the EMI is a very important part. Where is he going to get it from? Uh, let's talk about drivers. See, this industry is largely run in the in the highway network. Okay, um, uh, let's say there are uh, two and a half, three lakh kilometers of highways. Right, there are 70k uh, petrol pumps or, the, or let's say fuel pumps. They are open. But when you say, listen, hey, let's move essential goods by trucking, um, we have to also think of the fact that you need to also keep the dhabas open. The ancillary parts of the highway are getting missed. You can have the truck moving, but how will the truck move if the dhabas are closed? How will the truck move if the puncher shops are not working? How will the truck move if the mechanic shops are closed? So, you yeah. know, we have to think of this ancillary. Today, a lot of drivers are saying, I'm not getting food. He's just getting down and going away to his hometown. Not to forget that even the drivers are very scared. You know, they, have, they, are, they also have families. Families are, you know, hearing, you know, Prime Minister Narendra Modi talk about you know, coronavirus is a very, very big thing. It's the right thing if you should do lockdown. But their family is saying, come home. Why are you on the road? Yeah. Right? So the driver, again, is a... And, you know, his problems on the road are not getting solved. Okay, let me tell you one more. Uh, something that we are in the industry, I can tell you. There are non-essential items which have left before the lockdown. Let's say something like a mobile phone left. Uh, 21st, 22nd of uh, March from Chennai coming all the way to Delhi. As soon as the lockdown has happened, uh, you know, these trucks of non-essential goods are actually standing in the road, not allowed to move. 
So think of these trucks, and it to me is a big fear because there is a big chance of theft. There is a big chance of you know safety of these consignment. Yeah. There are lots of trucks on the road where the driver has left the key and gone because the police authorities uh, are not allowing him. They are saying this is a non-essential item; he can't move. But this, this boot they have left uh, before the lockdown. You know, we we have a consignment of non-essential goods to the fleet owner. It's 130 kilometers near NCR. It's 130 kilometers away from the destination, but it's not moving. It's now standing at some random place. Uh, so again, needs to be thought through, right? Uh, coming back to the logistics companies or customers, you know, they they are not getting any clarity. Uh, so the clarity is now increasing in the last 48 hours. I must say. government is really bringing clarity you know trying to make sure that essential items are moving but there is still a little bit of um, you know there is an issue when there is no driver no trucker he's going to find it difficult to move the essential items like for example one of the start of reached out saying these are essential items these are medical equipments masks um so that so these are some of the challenges that we are noticing in the industry which needs to be uh, addressed if government had to intervene right now then what would you you know what would your ask be so i would say the number one is and uh, and after the lock- lockdown happened is a lot of clarity on the ground while well, that's happening i must say this uh, it's happening at a at a phenomenal pace right but the the so called clarity on essential goods movement what is essential and what is not mm. and authority is being very clear that these goods have to be allowed to move mm. to be to me that's number one number two goods that are non essential but but have left before the lockdown should be allowed towards the destination right number 3 we need to think of these ancillary industries on route and we need to think of you know dhaba as a rule what's the rule for dhaba yeah. you know if there is no food the driver is not going to go out yeah. Right? yeah a lot of lot of truckers you know also now have started the drivers having these they have the you know the uh, way to cook but they are saying that i'm not getting an you know, ration on the highway anymore i have to enter the city which a, a truck cannot enter so the number two point would be to look at dhaba puncher shop mechanics they need to be present otherwise no 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 driver is going to come outside for this right um number i think number three is we need to think of some kind of a moratorium for the emi payment otherwise all these trucks will be at the finance company Uh, by first of first week or second week of uh, april because they cannot pay emi is not that a very very large number it's npa and it's it's a big decision which i think uh, the finance team should be working which is how do you postpone or give at least 3 months of moratorium to pay emi and interest otherwise uh, you're going to see trucks lying on the road saying okay i can't pay emi and i move on so i think these are three four things that a government uh, can do uh, and must do Uh, another thing that today on a call that came which is very very interesting a driver says that i don't want to risk because at every border point i am getting checked with documents i am exchanging documents with so many police right i might also get virus uh, are the police guys really careful in the way they are handling it are they giving the plastic are they giving it in a proper plastic are they sanitizing it and giving it to me yeah right wo bolta hai sir aapko to you know aapko kya aap to ghar pe baithe hain mere yahan har 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 100 kilometer mein main kisi ke yahan utarta hu wo mere ka andar office bulata hai you know weighing hoti hai paper yahan wahan hote hain mere ko dar lag raha hai yeah so i think reassuring him because if this guy gets scared and if, if some of them let's say uh, you know i hope it doesn't happen get get positive the whole community right will get very scared right uh, this is a very this is a community that lives in select pockets 50% of them yeah. your ncr of junjunu chirawa uh, nimrana mewat right 50% of them live here the moment they realize if 10 people get positive the whole town uh, will need to be quarantined so so this is a come out some of the things that we need to do because this is the community and this is the trucking industry that's going to carry the essential items yeah by pulses mill uh, let's say today lays is you know talking to us somebody from lays saying that listen we can you know you know lays is also chips is also a essential item and i said okay we'll check it out i'm sure it will be um now so i think those are the areas uh, where it's been a challenging uh, last few days for everybody i don't think it's only our industry right for everybody even people who are not doing anything it's challenging depression depression is coming up uh but yeah let's come some of my views on this. 